When you're training an orange dog, remember where the orange dog is on our color spectrum. It's between a yellow dog and a red dog. If you incorporate a lot of control in your training session, your orange dog can become a yellow dog. If you don't and let him become out of control, the orange dog can become a red dog. You always want your dog to move to the center of the spectrum. You know, many dogs are returned back to Humane Societies because they weren't trained. Today, we're gonna to train a brand new dog right here in Nevada Humane Society. Okay, we're gonna get a chance to meet Gump. Bring Gump in a second here. Let's take a look at him. Whoa, boy. He's a funny thing, Aaron. Really appreciate that. Got some information on Gump. So what we're gonna do is kind of kneel down a little bit here. And um, <laughs> Gump is a really, really excited dog. Okay, and I think I'll just pick Gump up, okay? There you go, okay. He's a neutered uh, miniature pincher, and he is uh, three years old, and uh, came to the shelter just a couple couple weeks ago. So we're gonna kind of work with him a little bit here. Okay, so, as you can see, the first, you know, Gump is, a, is, is an orange dog, very, very high strung, okay? So what I, what I first wanna do with Gump is I wanna find a way to kind of redirect him kind of away from all the excitement there. Now, as you can see, if I take a piece of food here, I just want to keep him really mellow, and I don't want him to take my finger off, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna keep my hand, my palm my hand, just like this, just like that, okay? If you have a dog that wants to take the food very, very quickly, the last thing you want to do is have, is have the food in your fingers, because the dog will bite your fingers. What you want to do with a dog like this is open the palm of your hand, just like that, and let him take it from the palm of your hand, okay? But what I'm doing is I'm kind of redirecting this dog away from the excitement. There's a dog off camera here that just came into the, to the Humane Society, okay? And uh, the dog is really into that dog. But what I want to try to do is I want to see if I could guide this dog up on something elevated. And we talk about this on my show, training your dog on something elevated is very, very cool because it's a barrier. And if I take the food and if I guide the dog just like this and put the food up there, there you go, good on his own, let him jump up there on it, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll give him a treat, okay, just like that. There was a, there was a ringing of the bell, that means, which, means, which means the dog was adopted, not this guy, obviously. Okay, so he's up here on his little chair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick him up and take him down a second, okay? And guide him back up again. Good, very nice, that's very, very good. And then what I wanna do is I'm going to Step back a second, okay, and I'm gonna reward him, okay, just like that. Step back, reward. Now I'm gonna call him off the chair, okay. Come, good, very nice, just like that. Good job, very, very nice. Now as you can see, there's a lot of commotion going on, and this is a great, kind of a nice place to work with a dog. Um, if you really, really want to kind of go through all the different types of distractions. There's people walking by, there was a dog that just came in. We learned that this dog was kind of a little, I don't know if it was aggressive towards other dogs, but he started barking at the other dog and things. But he's got a really, really cool personality. His tail's wagging, he's feeling really, really good. This is an orange dog, again, this is a very, this is a high-strung dog. Probably not a red, but I would say this was an orange dog, okay? So what again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guide him back up here again. There you go, put the food there, have him stay. And this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna step back just a little bit here, okay? Stay, give him a cue to stay, okay. He just jumped off. If your dog jumps off, makes a mistake, just have your dog repeat the behavior, you don't have to say no, stay. They don't know how to do it right unless they do it wrong, okay? We always talk about that, stay. Very nice, good job Gump, excellent, stay, stay. This is the cue. And now we'll release him. Another dog got adopted, really, awesome. Okay, very, very good, good job. And one more time up, good. Stay. Very, very nice. Very, very good, good job, Gump. Very, very nice. We're gonna come back and work with Gump a little bit later on in the show. Don't go away, we'll be right back.